Hello WordPress admins, it's Jack Wallen and I'm here to help you get things done. Today we're going to learn how to scan your WordPress sites for vulnerabilities with the WP Scan tool. The first thing to be done is the installation of the necessary dependencies. Log into your server or open a terminal window on your desktop and issue the command you see in the article below. Once that command completes, you can then use gem to install WP Scan with the command sudo gem install wp scan. That command will take a minute or two to complete. Once it's finished, you're ready to scan. Before you scan that first site, you'll want to update the wp scan database with the command wp scan dash dash update. With the database updated, let's scan a site. The scanning command looks like wp scan dash dash url equals http colon slash slash address, where address is either the domain or IP address of the server to be scanned. You will see the output of the scan revealing various types of information, including the installed versions of plugins and themes, and if they are up to date. You can also use WP Scan to enumerate users on your site. You can use this to attempt to crack passwords to make sure your users are not employing weak credentials. To do this, you'll first need to have a dictionary file such as the rockyou.txt dictionary. To enumerate users, issue the command wpscan dash dash url http colon slash slash address dash dash enumerate you, where address is either the URL or the IP address of your WordPress site. This will give you a list of the registered users on your site. Now, say you want to check to see if those users' passwords can be easily cracked. To do this, issue the command WP scan dash dash URL equals HTTP colon slash slash address dash dash passwords file dash dash usernames user where address is the URL or IP address of your WordPress site file is the file name of your downloaded dictionary and user is the name or names of the users to be tested. This scan will take a considerable amount of time, especially if you're checking a number of users, but once it completes, You'll see if any user password is easily cracked. If so, you should deal with that immediately. If you see no valid passwords found, that user is good to go. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.